Okay, here comes a unscripted video for you. I'm gonna try to do my best today to do this one with as little editing as possible, so no crazy sound effects and crashing glass and cat sounds. Just kind of a assessment of where my channel is, where it was at the beginning of last year, and where I want it to go from here, and the importance of not burning yourself out along the way if you are trying to build something of your own. For context, my channel has begun to pick up some momentum over the past six months or so. I've really been pushing very hard and actually trying for the first time uh, to make good quality content that would actually grow the channel for a little over a year now. And during that time, my channel went from just doing like uh, synth jams and hardware music stuff to more tutorials and process-oriented videos that are much more difficult to edit and film and plan. And that has taken up probably more of my time than anything else this year, just dedicating myself to getting better at making videos. During that time, there have been a lot of ups and downs in terms of how I've let the channel and the growth of the channel, or the lack thereof, based on my perceptions or expectations of what I thought should be happening, affect my overall mood throughout the year. I think it's really difficult when you're starting out because you want growth, but you aren't even exactly sure what your channel is going to be or what you even want it to be. And that's certainly been the case for me. I've been kind of having a rough idea of what I wanted to do, um, but I don't want to just become another synth tube synth review channel. Um, that has never been the goal, even though I do like doing those kinds of videos if it's something that really excites me or I find interesting. <clears throat> so rather than focusing just on the growth, I've been kind of focusing on making the kinds of things that I want to make and getting better at those. However, <laughs> that has stunted my growth to some degree because I know for a fact that I could grow faster if I were just making synth review videos but I wouldn't be growing with the types of audiences that I want to attract with the channel because those kinds of people who only watch synth versus synth videos, they only care about that thing. They don't really care about your music or any of the other things that you might be doing creatively. And I already knew that going in, like it's, it's good to have a balance. If you're trying to do a channel that is based on some type of gear, it's good for search. Uh, if people can look up that thing and find tutorials or demos for it. But as, in terms of being creatively fulfilling, it really isn't always that, especially if that's not the only thing you want to do. So I think one thing that I have learned over the course of this year and continue to learn as I continue to try to grow the channel is that it's really more about longevity than it is about quick numbers. So if I can put it in a slightly more cliched way, it's a marathon definitely not a sprint. Now, if you're hustling, yes, you can probably grow a little faster, but I don't think it's a long-term sustainable solution, uh, even though our culture kind of glorifies it and makes it seem like that's the thing that we have to do. This week is the week between Christmas and New Year's, and I have like 15 to 20 video ideas that I was thinking, oh, I've got to shoot all of these videos this week because I have time and nothing else to do. And we got into this week a little further and I realized every time I went to press record, I didn't want to make any of those videos. I was creatively tapped for the year. Just like when I'm making music, there are times when I make a ton of music and I can't stop making music. And that's usually when my albums <laughs> are developed. And then there are other times where I just don't feel like making anything, right? And they're kind of creative uh, doldrums, I guess. And I've learned in my music making that that's okay and to kind of embrace those things and do other things during that time that kind of recharge me creatively. And I'm kind of learning the same thing with the YouTube channel now. I've actually been consuming more, like listening to music, watching tutorials on things that I've wanted to get a better understanding of which I don't really have the time to do when I'm just creating all the time. And while I definitely am a proponent of creating more than you consume, I do think that there is some merit to taking a pause or taking a little break from creativity 
because you absolutely have to recharge those creative batteries from time to time. And that is what this week has been for me. It's really important to take the time to figure out what you want to accomplish. And that takes planning, that takes time, it takes a, a, gesta a gestation, gestation, is that a word? I'm gonna have to edit this video, aren't I? That takes a gestation period that is unavoidable. Like anything in life, you just have to let things marinate before you get the best possible result from it. The frustrating thing with YouTube is sometimes <laughs> you allow that to happen and you put out the best thing you possibly can and it still doesn't do very well in the algorithm. Um, but that's part of the learning process, right? You're, everything is not going to uh, you know, be a one of 10 in YouTube terms. If you have joined the channel recently, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Just for context, the channel before I really started trying was just under 3,000 subscribers and uh, we've added you know 5,000 in the past year or so. And I'm really happy with that, even though I, my goal was to get to 10K uh, by the end of this year. I fell just short, but, uh, you know, that was an arbitrary goal. And had I not tried, I would not have gained the 5,000 plus subscribers that I did gain throughout the year. So still a success, even though I fell short of that kind of arbitrary random goal that I selected just because it's a, a nice catchy round number. If you want to see more videos like this about me rambling or more videos about synthesizers and music gear from time to time that often contain this lamp in various locations throughout my studio so that you think that I have more than one of them, you can click subscribe. If you got anything out of this video, sometimes we need to hear uh, these kind of positive affirmations from other people that it's okay to relax and I need that from time to time too. So if you got anything out of it, Hit like, and I'll see you very soon in a brand new year with brand new gear. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Bye.